Today, we're going to give this old clock skeleton an eerie Halloween look. The clock is missing all of its mechanisms, and the finish is already worn, making it perfect for this project. So, let's get started. I'll be using some air dry clay for this project. First, I'm going to press the clay into a log shape and then begin rolling it out, leaving it larger on one end and tapering to a point on the other. I'm going to use this whisk broom to add texture to the clay. In areas where it's necessary, I'm going to add small nails to hold the clay piece to the clock, and then form the clay to crawl across the clock surface. The large end of these clay vines should start toward the back edge of the clock, allowing the small pointed ends to finish winding in front. I'm adding another nail to get this next vine to sit right. Have fun and take your time getting the vines to look how you want. I want a few crawling out of the clock face, so I'm just going to apply those. I'm also going to add a few more to the top of the clock. And then one more to the side. I want the clock to have two finials, so I'm going to roll two pieces of clay into round shapes. And then using a shaping tool, I'm going to add lines around the top, as well as the bottom. Then I made a little pointed piece that I'm going to place on top, and finish off the look with a horizontal line. Once the clay is dry, I'm going to use hot glue to attach any loose pieces to the clock. Using black craft paint, I'm going to carefully paint the vines. I spray painted the finials antique gold before adhering them to the clock. Once dry, with a mixture of red craft paint and water, I'm going to brush over the vines once more to enhance the texture and give the vines an eerie coloring. The water and paint mixture really brings these spooky vines to life. Using glossy Mod Podge, I'm going to brush over the vines once again to give the vines a shiny appearance. Mod Podge has a white tint to it right away, but it will dry clear. To add an even more worn appearance, I'm going to dry brush some edges and surfaces with this tan colored craft paint. The trick with dry brushing is to have very little paint on the brush. While that dries, let's work on one more quick project. Using red craft paint, I'm going to give this little plastic spider a quick makeover. I'm also going to use some glossy Mod Podge to give the spider a shiny finish. I adhered the spider to a small branch with hot glue, and I'm using the glue to add a few webs to the branch, applying dots to the plate, and pulling the glue lines across the branches. With an assortment of moss, I'm going to make a layer on the wood base, and then place the spider branch and a few others into the glass top. 
along with some dried plant materials I collected outdoors. Then, carefully, I'm going to slowly set the glass onto the base, adjusting the contents as I go. Here's the spooky spider display. And now it's time for the finished look. Welcome to my channel. I'm Christopher Heidemann and I love to decorate. Over the years, I've had a blast sharing a variety of craft and decorating videos. From cozy fall and spooky Halloween to warm and inviting Christmas. and other fun videos, including seasonal home tours, garden tours, simple desserts and treats, floral arrangements, and other projects to make your holidays and home even more spectacular.